It is often said that a picture is worth a thousand words, but to me that would be underselling it. There is so much under the surface, just like when we're dealing with people. We're foolish if we dismiss them. They too are like icebergs. 90% is under the surface. These two girls represent the fourth generation to toil in our soil. To me, it's much more than a job or a lifestyle. We operate a 7,500 acre mixed cropping and sheep operation near Moulamine in southwest New South Wales. As for the lifestyle factor, having a summer winter cropping and sheep thrown in the mix isn't exactly a peaceful one, but we're blessed to live and work in a remarkable part of the country. Our farm has creeks, a river, forests and wildlife corridors that meander their way across it. To me, these are just as important as the cropping country and really go hand in hand. Like water, you can't tag it and call it environmental or productive. It all flows through the same rivers and channels, bringing life to anything it touches. I was raised on this land and I've seen many changes happen, good and not so good. When I was young, the water outlets out of the main channels leaked. Back then, water wasn't as closely controlled. Today they would call it waste. I disagree. That water used to flow down the creek supporting life. The creeks then were nearly permanently watered with an abundance of bird life, animals and insects. Today, sadly, that water has to be accounted for on a column on someone's spreadsheet. There's probably even a costly environmental impact study to be performed before we can let a bit out. Once upon a time, if we had spare water, we would water some of our wildlife corridors. But in a world of gross margins and shrinking returns, how does a business justify it? Well, I still can. I'm guilty of letting excess water out into the creek. Not the best thing for your bottom line, but it's good for my soul. And to watch the country spring to life is amazing. Some of our crops serve this fundamental purpose. You only have to be out near the rice crop on dust and hear the deafening chorus of frogs and the like. Our community is at a crossroad, in my humble opinion. We have been battered and bruised by drought and even more so by government policy. I was once told, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. We've been at the table with government, and where's that got us? It seems every time we get into a debate, it's about how much they'll take. Rather, the more important, will they take or not? We need to stand firm against this constant barrage against our community and our way of life. We say, but there isn't many of us compared to the city boat. Well, if recent events are anything to go by, minorities are the ones who seem to drive agendas. Our community is resourceful and resilient. We need those with the blinkers taken off to grab this challenge and drive home our message through social media, etc. My time in farming is coming to an unfortunate end due to injury, but I'm still part of the community and I'll fight for our rights. To quote the great Martin Luther King Jr, a genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a moulder of consensus. So step up young ones, this will be your future and your children's.